Welcome everybody to uh, number 55 of the uh, Friday morning warm-ups and uh, as always we've got um, uh, yeah, some warming up to do, that's the word. Um, clapping and some long tones and some um, chromatic scale movement and also the sheet which um, started off being a lot simpler than usual and I started adding bits and got carried away. So it ended up being more complicated. I promise I'll do an easier one next week. Because uh, these are, after all, just a warm-up, not a test of your ability to play unusual scales. <laughs> um, OK, we're going to start with a little clapping pattern, which we have done before. That doesn't mean it's any easier, but uh, let me just stick it on the screen. And it is a, it's the top line. Don't worry about the bottom line. It's the top line. It's a cascara rhythm. Uh, cascara is the shell that a, um, a Latin American timbali drum is made of. And it's what they, when they hit that shell, um, they use this pattern, or this is one of many patterns that they um, play. Um, and if you if you know what you're doing, you've got some accents above some of the claps as well. So um, now I just thought, <laughs> this is me being tempted to make it start off nice and easy, make it harder. I thought we'd swing this rhythm rather than just um, clap it straight. So if it's straight, it'll be ba, ba, ba. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three. That'd be a straight rhythm. If you swing it, you just get a lazy sort of offbeat. That means that the offbeats are the ones between the R's and the L's. So it'd be. Anyway, just follow me. I'll put the metronome on, and you don't have to worry about your feet for this one if you want to uh, join in with that. So we're just going to do a, a swung version of the cascara for a minute. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. Last time. Ba, 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 da, ba, ba, ba. Good. Oh, that was quite jolly. That was I thought swinging it. Add a little kind of a, almost like a little tune to it after a while. Um, good. And I hope you tried those little accents just to uh, give it a bit more of a, a groove. Right. Let's move on. And uh, we're just going to play the um, concert note D on our instruments now, just to get the uh, some air and life into the uh, the old bit of wood or the old bit of uh, brass or whatever it might be. Um, so just some long tones or some twiddling or some arpeggios or anything you like really just to uh, get the instrument working. Here we go. <laughs>
one, two, three, four, and relax. Well, you should be relaxed already, actually. Uh, I'll stop then, that's a better word for it. Uh, okay, good. And uh, we're now going to do the chromatic um, scale. So this one is going to start on concert D, um, go up a semitone, and then come back to the uh, original first note. And then move up a semitone and repeat that three note pattern. So that's the idea of the uh, pattern. And we're going to go all the way up from a concert D up an octave. After four, one, two, three, four. Last one. Okay, let's do that again. After four. One, two, three, four. Last one. Um, okay, well, we're now going to play the chromatic scale from concert D up an octave and down again. So up the hill and down again. Um, just straight up and down, no pattern. Uh, speed it up slightly. Here we go. After four, so straight up the chromatic scale and back down again. One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, a little bit faster. We're up to a hundred. One, one, two, one, two, three, four. This is going, don't you? Uh, a little bit faster. One, two, one, two, three, four. Yep, two more to go. So we're up to 140 now. One, two, one, two, three, four. Yep, hope that's going well so far. Just got one more to go, and uh, let's go up to 160 beats a minute. After four, uh, one, two, one, two, three, four. The chromatic scale, all the notes we know. Good, um, let's move on then. And I'm um, just going to put onto the screen now the uh, exercise sheet for concert instruments. And like I say, I got a bit carried away with this, what was going to be just a simple D minor pentatonic scale. 
<laughs> she only got five notes now I thought I'd better put some more in so I doubled up the octave and squeezed it into one bar but anyway it's all good stuff um, so uh, yes we're looking at the D minor pentatonic um, which is a, a scale much used in songs in the key of D minor surprisingly not surprisingly and um, Actually, although I didn't ask for um, suggestions of um, the triad um, examples, songs starting on a D minor triad, I did get a couple of examples, uh, interesting ones. Um, it don't mean a thing. It don't mean a thing. Uh, starts on the um, a minor um, triad. Uh, that came from Chris. And also from Jeff, um, one I hadn't thought of before, uh, Rock Around the Clock. Uh, where he sings one, two, three o'clock, four o'clock, rock, five, six, seven o'clock, that's a minor third, five, six, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, rock, nine, ten, you know, whatever the next numbers are, nine, ten, eleven o'clock, twelve o'clock, rock, uh, yeah, which is on the fifth. So that's the first, the third, and the fifth. Something I never didn't realise that the first three lines start on um, a minor pentatonic, even though the song's in a major key. So it's probably a, a blues influence there on that minor third, because the, the song would have been... Uh, a major um, key. Anyway, so a couple of examples there of D minor pentatonics or minor, pent um, minor sorry, minor triad um, song starters. Anyway, that's enough waffle. Let's look at this first bar. This is a two octave D minor pentatonic scale, concert D minor, and um, with a couple of triplets in there. So it'll be a da 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 da. Now, I'm singing that with a swung quaver, which sounds more natural, especially with those triplets in it as well, rather than da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da, which is a little bit stilted. So we're swinging the quavers. Um, in other words, not the triplets, but the actual those pairs of quavers in between each of the pairs of the, the triplets. So you'll get the idea if you're not, not familiar with this, but um, we're going to do those two octaves. And we're just doing the first bar, so we're going to finish on the concert D note, so we, which is actually the first note of the next bar, just to round it off because I couldn't squeeze them all in. So um, let's just put the metronome on a, a nice, gentle pace. So the rhythm's going to be da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-boom, finish. Yeah, okay. Let's have a go at that. So we'll do it a few times. First bar, here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. And again, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, should we do that one more time? Just to uh, after four. One, two, three, four. Okay, I hope that went well. Uh, let's do the second bar then. So we're starting on that top note, the one we finished on. And coming all the way down the same rhythmic pattern, down two but two octaves of D minor pentatonic. Uh, you just need to add on the low tonic note at the end, which is actually on the next bar, just to round off the, the pattern as well. So um, second bar, yeah, here we go. Same idea. One, two, three, four. And again, one two, three, four. Two, uh, one more time. One, two, three, four. So, uh, if all is well, let's do those two bars, just as written. So the top note this time doesn't actually repeat, it just plays the, the ones. Uh, just round it off with the tonic at the end. So to the first two bars after four. One, two, one, two, three, four.
and again. One, two, three, four. One more time. One, two, three, four. The sound of D minor, pentatonic, five notes. Because last week we had an octatonic scale, didn't we? The eight note, you don't want to hear about that again, do you? The whole half diminished scale. Anyway, that was a pentatonic scale, five notes in it. Uh, um, to, on the right, the um, bars three and four on this line are, is the arpeggio for a D minor seven uh, chord, which is the chord most commonly associated with a D minor scale or D minor pentatonic scale. Um, so I've shown on there in the first bar the root, the third, the fifth and the seventh going up. And then on the second bar, bar four, um, the coming down, the root, the seventh, the fifth and the third. So again, you just need to finish off with the root note after it. So we're just going to play that arpeggio, bars three and four, after four. D minor seven arpeggio. One, two, three, four. And again, one, two, three, four. One more time. One, two, three, four. came down the pentatonic scale instead <laughs> um, and that is the D minor 7 arpeggio uh, which has a chord sounds like because of course arpeggios are just frozen chords and chords are melted arpeggios um, no it's the other way around isn't it <laughs> chords are frozen arpeggios and arpeggios are melted chords let's move on to the second line and the scale ascending. Um, right. Are we feeling ambitious? Would you like to swing this one? No, I think we'll play it straight, actually. There's enough going on. It's a three note pattern just going up the um, same scale, just crawling its way up the minor pentatonic scale in three note groups. But because there's only three notes in each little phrase, it kind of skips in and out of time with the bar, with the pulse. So that can sound a little bit un odd, especially if you're swinging it as well. So we're just going to play exactly as written, left to right, um, the second line, all four. And uh, apologies if it gets a little bit high towards the um, end. <laughs> Might be one, two squeaks from the, um, I'm not sure what you, which instrument I find it the hardest, possibly the tenor. Um, anyway, I haven't got the, the different keys in front of me. Let's go then. So... Uh, I'm going to slow it down somewhat. Um, all four bars after four. One, two, one, two, three, four. pattern going on there I think somewhere <laughs> uh, and again one two three four one more time one two three four Let's go on to the uh, line below that. Um, not quite so high, that um, that top note. Uh, where is it? Yeah. 
that uh, that G for um, tenors, I think it is, um, isn't on this next pattern. So descending now, coming down, similar sort of pattern, but um, starting on the tonic of this scale, comes a D. After four, one, two, one, two, three, four. too low. Let's do that again. After four. One, two, three, four. I'm saying too high for some instrument. It's definitely too high for the bass. <laughs> So I hope you've found a way around playing this pattern uh, that's meaningful. After four, last time. And one, two, three, four. Okay, there we go. That's the D uh, minor pentatonic or D pentatonic minor scale, as some people call it. Um, five note scale. Good. Right. Um, moving on now with um, some rhythmic ideas uh, based around um, the uh, D minor uh, triad. One or two other notes thrown in as well, I think, by the looks of it. Um, okay, the first bar. We'll just repeat the first bar then, and that's the uh let's have a look yeah that's just a d minor triad with the octave on top as well so just repeating the first bar one two three four <laughs> time uh, on to the uh, second bar let's just do that once just to make sure we got that right don't forget the rest at the beginning after four one two three four two three four Standing on, starting on the end of one, two, three, four. Let's loop it. Two, three, four. One more time. Uh, onto the third bar, the rhythms, and uh, let's just play that once, just to make sure. Again, we've got the uh, offbeat at the beginning. One, two, one, two, three, four. Bar four, and 
actually a bit more straightforward. I normally make these in increasing difficulty, but um, this one's probably a little bit more straightforward. So bar four anyway. Uh, one, two, one, two, three, four. I say that and I got it wrong. <laughs> one, two, three, four. to the second, uh, last line of the sheet and uh, we're looking at a two bar pattern here so we're going to play those two bars first two bars of the bottom line after four one two one two three four to the third bar I haven't put a double bar line between these two it's not one long phrase just the third bar um, all triplets a uh, bit of triplet rest on the uh, last beat so uh, if I was clapping this it would be two three four ba, 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 rest two three four Da, 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 da. Yeah. So let's do it. Play that. One, two, three, four. that bar third bar one two three four Semi-quavers are on the uh, end of one, so boom, da 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 da, da da. Oh, that sounds familiar. Where's that from? Do 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 do. Chris will know. <laughs> it's a rhythm from some rock tune. Right. Um, let's just do that fourth bar just once. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Two, 
last time. Yeah, right, good. Okay, well that concludes the um, sheet. So let's move on to our final section, which you all know is the uh, where I strum the chords and um, you do uh, what you like in a musical sense over those chords. Now this is a 12 bar minor blues. So it's just a chord progression in concert D minor. And um, so you can use, if you were soloing, for example, you would use the D minor pentatonic scale, for example. I mean, just one of many possibilities, um, which is very similar to the blues scale, uh, which would also work. Or you can just play chord tones or um, arpeggios and nice bass lines as well. I'm going to swing it a little bit as well, so just give it a little bit of a, a swingy swing swing. Um, in a bluesy sort of swing style. So here we go. After four and one, two, a one, two, three, four. For the last time. Okay, that's it. Go and enjoy the sunshine. And uh, I'll see you all next week. So nice to see you all, as always. And yes. uh, yeah, I'm enjoy your weekends free. and days. Yeah, thanks again, Dave. Yeah, yeah, thanks, thanks, David. David. Yeah, yeah, hi there. Thank you, David. Thank you, David. See you all next week. Thank you. Oh, bye, Robbie. Bye, bye. Good day you were here. Bye. Yeah, I'm here again. Just my gig tonight. Right, okay. See you next week. Bye. See Bye. you then. Bye. Bye then. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye Judy. Bye. Just about Bye. heard Bye. you there. Oh, I'm going to get a <laughs> new computer. New computer. Maybe that's what you need. It's your upload speed, yeah. I think. Yeah. Uh, you get, you're hearing, you're he Julie, you're hearing me okay, aren't you? Absolutely fine. Yeah. yeah. I think it's your upload speed, I imagine, yeah. which is stuff yeah. coming from you this way. But um, yeah. it might not be your computer.